Yeah. Old style. <laughs> yeah. We're live, man. Oh, we're doing it. Too fast for love. I don't, I don't think we've got that speed. No, only when, right after we walk out of Dr. T's, right? Well, you know, now that we are more mature, I, why would you want to, <laughs> you know, finish to the race line? I mean, you want to enjoy. More mature. Speak for yourself. Well, I'm talking, in, I'm talking in terms of romance. Uh, okay. And well, like I said, speak for yourself. Okay, well then. Oh, my God. we got Speedy Gonzalez <laughs> and Slowpoke Rodriguez. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you, know, you gotta enjoy the motion of the ocean. I is I load. Thanks to Doctor T. Yeah. See, there's more. Of a it's a volcano, baby. It ain't no motion of no ocean. Baby. There's some hot lava going into that it, ocean. It, baby. It's a it's a dam breaking. Yeah. It, it, the floodgates are open. <laughs> oh yeah, god. just like that rocket on that uh, Austin Powers movie, right? What oh that? my god, that yes. rocket! That rocket. Oh and then it turns into the the Led Zeppelin blimp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. there we go. Oh my god, it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Society 204. It's co-working community. It's where we're doing it. Hashtag PVT. It's the Rock and Chaz Show, Daddy. And if you want to come check out this beautiful office building here in the heart of Edinburgh, fully equipped offices to space for creative minds. Co-working is a movement that supports business owners, freelancers, remote workers, and creatives with a growing community that thrives on collaboration. You belong here if you're doing something professional and even semi-professional and well not really professional look at us we're here right i mean they take amateurs yeah i mean that's how we walked in the doors (laughs) rookies come get a tour just give them a call 956-887-1143 and guess what you'll be our neighbor (laughs) once you be come on over for a cup of sugar (laughs) and we can talk about motions of the ocean there's a bar here oh Oh, yeah you can have drinks there's a kitchen there's a dining room, there's office space, there's a big lobby with a stage where you can do presentations. All right, get out of the bedroom, get out of your mom's house, come get a little room over here and get your professionalism yeah. on tap, all right? And it's also brought to you by Dr. T's Primary Care for Men and Women. We are talking about that. If you're too slow for love and you want to be too fast for love, Dr. T's Primary Care for Men and Women. Lose weight, feel younger and healthier again. And uh, call us at 956-441-2188. If you feel sluggish, tired, gain weight, you're looking for a primary care clinic to help improve your quality of life. They've got hormone replacement therapy, weight loss therapy, IV vitamin infusion, and peptide therapy, all designed to help you feel great and healthier again. Offices in McAllen and Harlingen, 956-441-2188. And, uh, well, you're seeing two clients right here. Right here, brother. Who are ready for WrestleMania? Yes, sir. (sighs) Yeah. You know, what I like is that we send you that reminder. Like, uh-huh. hey, you have an appointment tomorrow night. Do you confirm? Yes, I confirm. Yeah. I won't be there. Yeah. <laughs> and then you walked out jacked and stacked, brother. I actually message them before they message me and tell them, I'm on my way, bro. All right? You don't have to tell me anything. I'm on my way, daddy All right? So we've got a special show tonight. Extra special. We got Joey Jams here, and we've got George Guzman here with that. He's going to be handling... The um, crowd all the control. chat zone, the, the crowd control, the <laughs> chat zone, because Felicia couldn't make it. She's under the weather. But we've got a special video just so you can see. We put the title Iconic Drummer on there. That's and, right. And uh, I honestly believe that's what he is. And here you go. about to get real nessio right 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 now
Wow. Wow. Damn. What an intro, bro. Well, Dude. Rock, can you, is there any other human being on this planet that has drummed for Sop Sop Sapo and Vanilla oh, Ice? Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, that's quite a resume. But I've never played with, 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 with Sombra? Yeah, that, I no, think no, you did. No, no, I've never played with no, Sombra. No, you never played with La Sombra. No. But you knew all those guys, right? Oh, yeah, of course. Tony, shout out to Tony. Huerta? Era el drummer de La Sombra, uh, Jesse Huerta, yeah. yeah what yeah, happened yeah. to Jesse, bro? He's around, man. I, last, time, last time that I saw him... Was back in 28, 20, 2018 at the Tejano Fanfare. Mm -hmm. Well, the uh, Tejano Music Awards had a fanfare, and then Univision had a fanfare. And we were at the Univision fanfare, mm -hmm. and Sombra was going to perform. Yeah. And I saw him. I was like, holy shit, that's Jesse Huerta. And I was yeah. like, hey, Jesse. <laughs> hey, hey I'm, a, I'm a big fan. And he just kind of looked at me like, who the hell are you? And I just said, hey, can I get a picture? <laughs> you didn't know who you were, dude? <laughs> yeah. No. He didn't. 2018, Jesse Huerta didn't know who you are. Nah. You don't think he keeps up with everything that's going on uh, in the Tejano industry? Was he playing? I was he know. acting? I don't know. Well, you, you know what? He he did accept my friend request, so. Yeah? That's cool. <laughs> but I mean, what is he doing? Did you ask him what he's up to? Was no, he... no, I was just kind of like tripped out that it, that it was him, you know. And he was he was really cool and everything. But I was yeah. just like, wow, like I mean, back in the day, he. Was... Are you sure it was him? Maybe it was. No, it was him. him it was. I promise. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> it was him. I promise. Yeah, I've, I've seen. I mean, I've taken pictures with people. Then I look at the picture. Wait, wait, no son, me. I thought it was him, bro. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it was him. You know what? I think I have it on my phone. Let me see if I can find it on my phone. Do we have a phone to call him? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I won't call him, bro. <laughs> we'll do it live. You should call yeah, him, dude. Yeah. For real, that'd be badass. Yeah. All right. So just write his number down on a, on a yeah, piece of paper. Here, here, here. Here's a pen. Do here. I have this? Here's thing? a pen and paper. Here. I will, I will. Where's that little I'll thing that I'll goes I'll through the... It's one that goes into yes, the I phone. Will. Is it I'll there? Will. Okay. All right. Our producer, La Tengo Trabajando. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, if you know Je Jesse Huerta... Man, but is it the sp the, sp the, sp the spaghetti incident? <laughs> Look, I told you. You found I it. Found it. Look, you, you got his number, bro. Look, that's him, bro. That's him. Oh, wow. The Jesse Huerta, drummer for La Sombra. There he is. All the hits. Wow. Freak. Oh, when La Sombra was recording actual instruments. Dude, that was crazy. La Sombra back in the day, right, bro? Dude, they were they were like like nothing else. They had so many members. You know what? I, I, I'll I'll tell you I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> they had back so many the, members. Hey, I mean, well, well, <laughs> well, you know what? It's crazy because well, this is what I heard. I don't know how true this is. This is what I heard. <laughs> I heard that Sombra wasn't even from Chicago. That they were from Brownsville. Oh, La Via. Yeah. Or like the managers were Frank Zuniga was from. Uh, La Via and that they were from Browns. But yeah, yeah, a lot of people have roots in the Valley, bro. No, for sure. You know what I mean? And they go up to Chicago to work or they go up in seasonal. A lot of people in the 70s went yeah. up to work seasonally. seasonably. Right? Is that a <laughs> word? Seasonably. Is that, is that a word? Um, <laughs> sensibly. <laughs> that was sensibly, seasonably. But you know what? The thing about La Sombra oh is God. that they had, dude, they were like, not only did they sound badass, they had a badass like light show and their show and. It was always the biggest, right? I mean, and then they. Well, had, I mean, it was it was big. It wasn't the biggest, but it was big. <laughs> no, but it was I mean, impressive. It was impressive. Yeah, I mean, it I was, think I, to be honest with you, for that day and age, bro. Oh it, yeah, it was the biggest. I mean, back in the two thousand, you had you know Cumbia Kings and all these guys throwing on bigger shows. Yeah. But in the at that time, in the eighties and seventies, well, La Sombra, La, uh, uh, tropel, Ma bro. Mafia had the bigger production. Yeah. La Mafia was rolling with two 18 wheelers and a bobtail and two tour That's buses. That's true. Yeah. Oh man! But as far as the, I guess the energy on stage. Well, it was it was it was La it was Sombra, always it was different. Yeah. But 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 I mean, even it, I have it's funny because I have a buddy of mine. Shout out to Mariano Herrera from. Uh, he's actually from Aurora, Illinois. Uh -huh. Mariano, he lives in Corpus Christi, and he's family to Tony and all them. And Mariano actually moved from Illinois. To Corpus mm -hmm. to join La Sombra to be with his family, right? Sí. And, and I ended up meeting Mariano because at one point in time Mariano was touring with uh, DJ Kane. So me and Mariano became friends, and you know, by me recording, Mariano used to work at Freddie Records, 
And I used to record at Freddie Records with Signo and stuff. So me and Mariano obviously became camaras. Well, he always flew the the Sombra flag, uh-huh. and I'm always flying the La Mafia flag. Oh. So I would go just I would get on his on his Facebook and like send a picture of Can La Sombra do this right now? Like La Mafia in La, <laughs> in La Arena Monterrey, you know, playing yeah. to a sold out show. Or uh, one time he was sending me stuff too. So what I did is I photoshopped. He had a picture of him like sitting behind a keyboard, and I photoshopped his shirt and I put a La Mafia logo oh. on it. <laughs> Joey, have you seen that show Queen of the South? Are you familiar with that show? And then there's an no, actor named Bo- no. Okay, so there's an actor named Boaz, right? No, his name is JT Campos. JT Campos. But there's a character named Boaz. Boaz. He meant it was a cartel guy. And the char- the way that he looks is 100% <laughs> yeah. La Mafia. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And for the rest of the United Do States. Do we like, even have a picture of him there, babe? We might a, have, a Boaz? A, a Boaz? Do we have mm. one? With, with the whole hat and so, whole. So the rest of the United States is like, oh, look at this character, Boaz. It's so original. But yeah. Hispanics are like, He's just being la mafia. Yeah. Yeah. Ese vato parece la mafia, carnal. But you know what? Going back to La Sombra today and, and La Mafia today, La Sombra back then had a more energetic, uh, choreographed show. Spinning than, trumpets. Than La Mafia. Well, I think, you know and what? That, I, I don't think La Mafia had to do that. No. Well, oh. maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. <laughs> whatever the case may be. But their show was a little more physical than La Mafia's, yeah. you see? And so right now, to keep that physical aspect amongst 60-year-old dudes, you know what I'm saying? They need Dr. T. It doesn't look right, <laughs> but, <laughs> but La Mafia can still go up there, and, you know, they kept it calm, you know, on yeah. stage and just music, you know but what if I mean? You, but if you think about it, like, if you think about it, like, for example, let's say Earth, Wind, and Fire. Mm-hmm. Earth, Wind, and Fire, those guys are in their 70s. Okay. And when you go see Earth, Wind, and Fire today in 2022, mm-hmm. it's like watching a show from the 70s. Mm-hmm. They're going to be in Corpus. Like, like, yeah, on the on September. Yeah, September I saw 13th. them. Yeah. Uh, did, did we, no, we, did, we didn't see Earth, Wind, and Fire. We saw uh, Cool in the Gang. Them too. They opened up for Van Halen. Yeah, them too. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Is like they're still delivering. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like when you pay a ticket, yeah. when you buy a ticket to see those bands. You're still going to get the show that you always remembered watch. If you were a diehard fan, yeah. come on, Rock. Joey, what is your favorite <laughs> La Mafia song? Yeah. Hands down. Right. Ranchera would be Por Que from the Explosive album, and Cumbia would be Aquí Está Mi Amor from the Estás Tocando Fuego album. You like Por Que? I like Get Him It, bro. That song's better, no? Hombre. Real commercial. I mean, it's badass. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. <laughs> get him, man. That's because you were just a DJ on Capasa. You had to play that 20 times a day. Dude, whenever I heard this song. No, you're thinking of something else. You're thinking about it. Oh, let's see. Yeah, there you go. Ah! I'm thinking of Ahora y Siempre. Yeah, you're thinking of Ahora y Siempre. Ahora y siempre. Yeah. This is the mafia I like. This bro. is, yeah. Dude. Yeah. Oi. And the rhythm section was Leonard, Michael Aguilar, and Adolf Alonso. No mm-hmm. mames. Yeah, dude. No mames. How about this one right here, bro? This one right here. Yeah, soy tuyo. Yeah, yeah, Hell yeah, yeah, dude. Riley, would you flick the lights up and down <laughs> so we can clip real quick? Just flick them. And welcome. Uh, there, you know, there, you there we go. There we go. There All right. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> South Dallas. <laughs> Aquí estamos en Studio 4. I, I, just, I just always felt like, like especially as I was getting older, that La Mafia was just ahead of their time. Mm-hmm. Like, and, and the cool thing about it is, if you think about it, La Mafia, right to this day, they'll, they'll go and play like La Arena Monterrey and sell it out. See, si. you know what I mean? Like, they're they still, have powerful songs. They're, yeah, they're still relevant. Yeah, those are uh, the, the Vida and uh, Me Estoy Enamorando. No me caete la boca. Shut up, bro. When they hit those ballads, bro. And, uh, and then you want to know something funny? This is a funny story. When I was playing with Maciso, we played uh, in Eagle Pass with La Mafia, right? La Mafia was playing. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, w- I was on the side of the stage watching them, and they were ripping it. You know, Mafia was ripping it. And uh, so Oscar Oscar comes to, the, to, to get a drink of water. And I'm like this, recording with my phone. Mm-hmm. I'm watching them on the side. And, yeah. I, and I follow him to the drum riser to get the drink of water. And then he, as he turns around and comes back, he looks. To, he turns around, looks at me, and he goes, "Like, do you want to jam?" Oh, and I was like, "Fuck yeah!" Yeah. So my wife is like, she was in front of me, and she like turned around and looked at me. And she said, "Oh my god," because we're both mafia fans. Yeah. He never fucking called me on stage. Goddamn nah. it. 
Hey. Damn it. Hey, shit happens like that. Sometimes, <laughs> I was all, put me in, coach. I was ready. Dude, sometimes like I, I come in here, I'll, hey, we got to send a shout out here. We got to do this here. We got to do that here. And then we finish. Hey, we forgot to do that yeah. shit. Yeah. I was you there know. waiting like. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting. Maybe you were just getting a, you know, a mixed signal, bro. I mean, maybe you wasn't really wanting to get You want to see it? I have it on my phone. Uh, well, Because well, I was recording them. Uh-huh. And I was like this recording them. And, and he tells he, you. He went to get. Are you sure like, it wasn't going like this? Like, look, mira. Like, I've got stuff on my Put it, and put it against the phone. I mean, against the camera there. Look, I'm in front of the I'm camera. I'm gonna show you, dude. People I'm need not, to see I'm not this. making it up. I promise. Because <laughs> right I'll, now in the chat zone, people are saying this is not true. It's okay. <laughs> so te quedaste con blue balls, carnal. Like yeah, madre, vato. Necesito este vato. ¿Cómo se llama? Dr. Dr. T. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, Watch out. Watch. Here it is, right here. I even re look. I even chopped it up. Seven seconds of when he goes gets Me his water, and he comes. He looks at because I'm recording them. And he tells me like if I want to jam, what? Where's it? Where's it? Right can there. Can you see that? That's it. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Look, at, look, look at him. Look at him. Like, there's a proof. Look, look at him. Pick it above okay. the light. Put, bring, okay. put it above the light. Put it above the right light. There. Okay. There you, go. you see? Did you see that? No. What did he do? Do it again. Okay. Look. That's hallucinating. Look, look, watch. <laughs> okay. Oh, right there. Okay. Lower, 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 lower. lower. Put it right He's there. Right there. Right there. And. No, I don't I'm even see no. it. No, no, one more time. One more time. <laughs> Look, I'm not lying. Like he was Look. swatting a fly. Look. Oh, yeah. Look. Okay, hold on. Okay, so he's walking right there. Uh huh. Let me see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you see it? Babe? Did you see it? I don't even know what I'm looking for. Look, oh, look, 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 look at it. You, look at it. Push play. <laughs> I'm serious. All right, let's check this out. All right, here he is, right? Uh -huh. All right, is this balls? Okay, no. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, I already. Oh, pues chica, salió otro picture, carnal. I already. Oh my God. I'm sorry. No, man. Man. Look like a, a, a no, Trojan. Man. Look, we do it one more, one more last time. <laughs> look, let me know. Here we go. Look, he's drinking his water. Uh -huh. He yeah. turns around and then boom. <laughs> I don't know, bro. For real, dude. Okay, well. It's a picture out of text, come on, CNN video. <laughs> hey, and I was like this, dude. I was like, because I was recording the jam, and I was like, hell yeah, like, dude. But when this they looks like the Bigfoot video is gonna be played forever. <laughs> like, what's the Oscar saying? But did you play with somebody that plays like oh mafia God. music? Wasn't yeah, it like, well, no, well, it's, was it Magnifico Seven? Or, yeah, Magnifico you played Siete, with yeah, 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 those guys play. They sound like La Mafia yeah, back that's, in that's the my day, uncle, bro. My, my uncle Leroy, we call him Uncle Bobo. Mm -hmm. uh, they're out of Gonzales, Texas, and uh, yeah, man, they're they're getting a lot of airplay. I actually, I actually had the honor of recording that entire mm -hmm. record. So yeah. all the La, all the Magnifico Siete songs you hear on the radio, sí. that's me on drums. Se avientan, bro. Yeah, dude. I saw them perform live. He didn't in the original sax player. Yeah, Jesse Perales. Jesse Perales yeah, out man. of Houston, Texas, bro. He, yes, who sir. else is in the band? Uh, Let's it's, see. It's uh, Leroy Camarillo, which oh. Uncle Bobo on vocals. And then uh, Jesse Perales is, is on sax. Nacho Puente, who was from Excelencia. Uh -huh. uh, and then uh, Jesse Mejia, who's out of Yorktown on bass. Ino Sepulveda from Gonzalez on keyboards. Yeah. And then Drew Rodriguez from Gonzalez on drums. Orale. Yeah, man. They have a great they have a great unit. What's their connection to La Mafia? Because they they're like La Mafia tribute band. They're well, like a it, mafia tribute band. It's kind of like it's kind of like um how do you say it? Like when it's kind of it's not so much like a tribute cuz I know Jesse has a connection with La well, Mafia, yeah, of right? Course. He was with them yeah, back he was in with the them, yeah. 1986. Yeah, he yeah. was with them for since the, yeah. he's an original member since yeah. the day one. But I think it's more so like when you go to the same school and you guys get together mm -hmm. and y'all try to do things. Yeah. It sounds like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like if you if you if you hang out with dudes that all y'all play, y'all all listen to thrash metal, and then you want to get on your instruments, you start jamming, you start sounding like, you know, anthrax, anthrax or uh, megadeth yeah, or whatever. Yeah. So it's that type of deal because they all come from that school, the Excelencia school, the La Mafia yeah. school. So it's that same thread, you know, and it doesn't really help that my uncle Leroy kinda Almost, not almost, but he kind of sounds like Oscar a little bit, you know. Yeah. He but, does, dude. yeah. He but, does. but like back in the day. But you know? they're they're huge La Mafia fans. You know what I'm saying? It's like that's their yeah. It's like a tribute band. It's, I mean, if you ask me, I mean, I've seen them live before. 
And they do a great job with the covers of the mafia and all yeah. that stuff, man. They do well, now, really now the cool thing about it is I just saw them last week or a week and a half ago in Ingleside. Mm -hmm. And now they're because of all their the songs that they've been releasing of theirs, originals, mm -hmm. that they're uh, now they're playing the majority of their songs and they're all they've all been on the radio. Yeah. So, you know, they, they still throw in mafia songs in there. What happened to uh, Oscar's brother? Uh, you know, oh, Leonard, that I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I've been wanting to. I'd like to have him here on the show to talk to him and see what he's up to. Man, that guy was part of that big old scene. Too, oh yeah, man. he was sure, a big man. part of La Mafia. Yeah, and then he just stepped down and uh, you know. But you know, now that you're mentioning Excelencia and La Mafia and all that, I've just come to the realization, and I never did before. The sound from Houston and the sound from San Antonio are yeah, two totally different exactly. styles, bro. Exactly. How that, would you compare them? What would you say is the main <clears throat> difference between San Antonio and Houston? Well, well, I I think, honestly, the one in San Antonio is... A, I think the Tejano sound from San Antonio is kind of like... Masa Acordeon? No, not so much that, but it's like... Wanting to kind of show off so to speak okay. like like showmanship jazz chords and this badass arrangements and you know what i mean as of la mafia and excelencia it was more solid in your face mm -hmm. groove straight ahead and like El compas. yeah the compas the horns were yeah. like you know strong like you know what i mean like it was it was it wasn't like orchestra like little joe and them but it was it was i don't know man it, it was just it's different just like Everybody says Conjunto is different. If you listen to Conjunto mm -hmm. in the Valley, Conjunto in Corpus, Conjunto in San Antonio. You know. And you know what? It's interesting because Excelencia were band members from La Mafia that were that left. When, well, it was uh, all of them except for yeah, Speedy. The only one, it was Speedy. It was Jesse, Perales. And then Adam Mosqueda. Uh-huh. The bass player. Randy Caballero, too, yeah, was with Randy La Mafia. Caballero. And then Dave was the only one that yeah, was Yeah, dude. Yeah. The, who did the, you replace? Because you were there. Who, yeah, who I, left? I, I, I replaced... Uh, Adam. Well, in '94, yeah, and I was 13. What was the first? Now you were in so many bands. 13 well, years old. I know bro. a little kid. It was, dude. I seen him. That's when I met him, bro. What was the first song that you heard of yourself on the radio? Was it an Excelencia yeah, song? Or it was. What? It was the Un Angel No Debe Llorar. And what did you think when you heard yourself? Shh, that, man, I was tripping. Bro. I was <laughs> tripping balls. Like, you yeah. know, to hear to hear yourself on the mm -hmm. radio and. Even to this day, like to this day, I'll be driving and I put, I have it on my phone, so I'll listen to it. And it's weird because to me, I'm listening to it and I'm like, man, that doesn't sound like a 13-year-old kid on drums. Like, you know what I mean? Like, but God blessed me with the with the gift. And That's really crazy how, about that. how um, they all left La Mafia at the same time. It's like there was a whole Yeah, something up. went down there. I don't, you I don't, don't know. know any, no, they I don't never know. talked about it or no, anything? No, man. I don't know exactly how that happened. Yeah. Uh, you know, because... And then Leonard eventually ended up getting booted out or whatever or something, quitting yeah, or something. Yeah, something, something went down there, too. And you've never heard anything about that, playing well, I, with I, Excelencia I, and stuff like no, that. No, I didn't. As when as when you, know you were funny, with Excelencia, who were the the, the 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 mafia members that were still there? Adolf. Adolf. Adolf Alonso, which is the bass player. Yeah, he yeah. was there. Adolf. Adolf. Adolf was with La Mafia from the A Todo Color record, which was in '87 till this, this one, Es mm -hmm. Fuego, '92. He was there for a minute, and then yeah. he joined. And he he got out, and then he joined Excelencia. It's weird. It's like you leave La Mafia and you go to Excelencia. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like it's a rite of passage. Yeah, right. Yeah. All right, time to move to Excelencia. Yeah. Hey, I just got hired by La Mafia. You'll be with Excelencia real soon. <laughs> right. So, yeah. I mean, I, yeah. <laughs> and you know what's funny, dude? It, it, what's crazy is that is that when I when I when I jo when I joined Excelencia, uh -huh. I was such a huge Mafia fan, and David hated that bro why dude he, i don't know i don't know he hated it yeah. sorry dave i love you you know i love you <laughs> but man he, he wanted hated, to move on right he, he was, hated the fact that i was a big especially like when the when the records would come out like i remember when i got in what came out Umin de rosas and i bought the cassette and i was like jamming it in my walk man and he was like turn that shit off <laughs> What the hell? Mm -hmm. But yeah, he he it's hated. Still, I thought he didn't even want you hearing the music. He didn't do it. I'm yeah. telling you, oh, I'm calling you out, dog. I'm putting you on blast. I've been hater, <laughs> David. <laughs> yeah, but it's back in those yeah, days. Yeah, back man. in those days. Yeah, like, testosterone. Right. Right. Like, uh, carnal, a lot of posturing. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ahora no, it's alright. I'm with the age. You know what I mean? But uh, 
But yeah, that's pretty interesting, man. You've been through a whole bunch of different bands, dude. Yeah, yeah. dude, and, and different genres too, man. Are you are you with any band right now, like Solid, or is it just like you're a gun for hire? Because I'm like right now, I'm like in ten bands. Uh huh. <laughs> no. And no, 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 no. no. I mean, no. It's, it's possible. No, bro. no actually, you do actually, that. actually, no, dude. You know what? The crazy part about it, and I've been telling people this recently, like like through conversation, is like, I think it's better for right now mm-hmm. in the moment. That I'm by myself because I could really do whatever I want. Mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. have to be in a band and be committed mm-hmm. to whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it's that's I like it like that. You I, know, I, until maybe uh, a certain situation pops up, opportunity, so to speak, and it's one of those where you can't say no. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to try to do your own. Like, okay, I'm going to be the conductor. I'm going to be the, oh, the pope. Dude, you know what? That's so not many people, bro, nombre. have told me that. That's then, a lot of, but it's a fucking headache, hey. bro. I'm sorry, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, no. But, yeah. I, could, I, I mean, I've been in bands, and I've seen what yeah. the, the main guys have gone through. The stress. stress. It's nasty, bro. Y aquel vato no va a llegar. Man, for real. Aquel vato sin anda perdido, bro. Sin a... And then, always, did you send the 1099s? Hey, but you know what? You know what? You know what? I'll, I'll be a society. If there's... If, there, if I do... And I've been thinking about it. I even have a name for it and everything. Oh. That if I did anything, I would put together an 80s rock band. But not dress the part. Just play the music. Mm-hmm. Like, Why not dress the part? Really? So why not? Bro? You join it now? Yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm talking like the spandex. Oh. <laughs> spiky hair. Yeah, no, yeah. no. Like I would, I would, I would make a. I even have a name for it and everything. But that's on the DL. Nobody ah, knows about yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> but so yeah. it would be like the crew style. It would, could... I would play Motley Crue, Rat, White Snake, Cinderella, Scorpions, Def Leppard, well, ACDC. You, you need a singer, bro. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Ahí está Carlito, Ahí está Carlito. Ahí está Carlito con no, Carlito anda con metal, bro. Yeah, sí. Yeah. No hay pedo, va a ser freelance también. No hay pedo, ¿eh? Would you get a spinning uh, drum kit? Shit. <laughs> I wish. I spin it. But a buddy of mine when I was playing with Signo, a buddy of mine, uh, Benny Puente, shout out to Benny from Beville. He's like, I, I met him in Corpus, and he told me like for real, like cara seria. Cause dude, I got a camera. He'll make you a fucking cage, bro. It'll spin. Mm-hmm. I go, that's badass, bro. Bad, but it's no a caer in pinche Casablanca Laredo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to fit in there. Yeah. It's not going to fit mean? in South <laughs> Dallas. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah, you were talking about uh, going to, uh, you know, Gipper's funeral and stuff. Yeah. You know, Campaz Escanse, Gipper, good friend of ours, a musician. Uh, you know, A.B. Quintanilla's uh, musical partner as well, yeah, también, man. and professional partner. Uh, died from COVID, and yeah, uh, you were mentioning that you, you went to uh, the funeral, yeah, man, and you were able to uh, talk to, to them, and, and you were mentioning about you and, and, and Jesse uh, that you all realized that it's not worth having beef, you know, while we're alive, because you know at the end of the day we're gone, man, yeah, you know. Man. Well, so is well, that is, is that already been resolved and everything? Have you all been like able to oh, know, communicate yeah, and shit? Oh yeah, man. As a matter of fact, the way it actually. Well, we were there at Gipper's funeral mm-hmm. at his services at the at the cemetery, and uh, it was hot. We're outside, and my wife she goes, "Babe, I'm gonna go to the car and get some water." I said, "Okay." So when she comes back, I mean, there was a lot of people there. She comes back and she goes, "Hey, you know, you'll never guess who I just saw right now." And I said, "Who?" She goes, "Turner." I was like, "Oh, really? He's here?" She's like, "Yeah," and I, and I was like, oh, "Okay." She goes. If you, if you run into him, you know, don't say nothing <laughs> crazy or nothing. I said, no, I'm not going to do that. Like, not here. Like, especially, you know, my mind's somewhere else, you know. So we left it like that. I didn't I didn't see him at all. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, was we going, we go in our car. We weren't leaving home. And she, she just, <laughs> she started talking to me. She's like, can I tell you something? I said, what's up? And basically she was just, she was the one telling me, like, you know, you need to let that go. Mm-hmm. Like, 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 no matter what happened, like, just, it's not, you, do you want to run into him at a funeral? Like, is that where you want to, you know, like, wh- who, God forbid something happens to another person that y'all know, and that's how things happen. Like, she's like, you know, and then it's so weird because at the time, it's like so many positive things were in my path. And she's like, you have so many blessings coming your way. Like, you don't want to have, like, they, they just let it go. So... At first, I was like, Ugh. but then I thought about it, man, and it's like, you know what? She's right. She was, she was right. And then a buddy of mine from, uh, he's from the Valley, which is one of Gipper's friends, uh, Rick Diaz. Shout out to Rick. Uh, 
he reached out to me too and kind of the same thing like you know that that i guess turner told him that he saw me and so later on that evening i just said you know what let me call I, well I, I actually i text rick i said give me his number because i don't as i had been years since i've talked to him and i don't know if he had changed his number or whatever mm -hmm. and, and he didn't want to give it to me because he goes you're not gonna talk shit or nothing right i was like no dude i'm not gonna do that i promise <laughs> So he gave me his number, and uh, I I waited like that evening, and I just texted him, and I and I I said, hey, what's up, man? Like, thank you for coming out to Gipper's uh, funeral. I know he would have appreciated it. And Starla told me she saw you. I mean, yeah, she saw you, and uh, it was good that you were out there, man. Uh, hope all is well. You know, fuck the bullshit. Who gives it? You know, whatever. I said it would have been cool to say what's up because I didn't get to say hi to him. Because after that we went to the like a hall that we go eat and stuff, and he he didn't go, so uh, basically just like that it was just kind of like you know uh, whatever happened in the past does it that shit don't matter man you know like 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 anything negative like I, I was you know and and he responded to me man he sent me a long message and he you know he threw in there like he was waiting for this for a long time and. Yeah, it dude. was it was it was cool, man. Like 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 it makes me want to fucking cry. No, like. no, it, it, it's 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 because it's real. You know what I'm saying? Like 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 that that moment because it's like it's not worth it. Because and I told him I said in my thing, you know, through message, I said, you know what? I said we did great things together. You, you did. Know, you know, fuck the bad shit. No, bro. You know what I mean? So so then we left it like that, and it's so funny, dude, because uh, we. That was it. And then we just kind of started messaging each other, you know, through text here and there. And he sent me a, a video one time of uh, Jacob, us playing together with Jacob on stage. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I actually got to uh, FaceTime with him and Jacob at where Jacob's at mm -hmm. right now. And it's it's been, it, it was cool, man. It was, it, yeah, actually, believe it or not. Well, see, this is all happening through text message. Yeah. Right. That's a lot different than well, well, the in person, well, bro. Well, it well, is. well, well the, the, the FaceTime a uh, video of him and I with, 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 with Jacob came later, but I was actually on tour with Cole Wetzel mm -hmm. going to, uh, I think we were going to New Orleans or Nashville or we we're going somewhere. And I was talking to my wife and my phone beeped and I looked at it and I said, Oh, you're never going to get this calling me right now. She said, who? I said, Turner. She's like, really? I was like, yeah. I said, let me see what's up. So I got off the phone with her. And I answered it. I was like, hello. I was like, what's up, dude? What are you doing, man? Don't tell me you're asleep already. And I was like, no, nah, I'm, I'm just laying here. Uh, we're on our way. I forgot where we were going, either Nashville or, or to uh, to uh, New Orleans. And, dude, it was just like the next day, bro. Like, wow. it, it's so funny because I'll never forget when he called me in 2011, in 2010, actually. I'll never forget when he called me in 2010 about helping them out. I wasn't in the band yet, just to help them out. And but his energy, how he was on the phone. What's up, bro? How you been, man? Mm -hmm. You know, it, you know, and he was telling me what happened with their drummer and yada yada yada. It was the same type of on the yeah on this phone call, mm -hmm. and we were on the phone for about an about forty five minutes, just you know. Well, it brings a lot shit. of joy to my heart. Yeah, bro. man. I mean, you know what? No bullshit. Me too, because I, I felt like once I let it go. Boy, I bet you felt great. Oh, I felt I felt great. Yeah, you know? dude, it's too fucking. Yeah. <clears throat> life's too short to be holding on to bullshit, yeah, bro. Man. And, and, and not only that, more so, it's like I I just didn't want to be. I, I like if I was at a store and if I saw him. Now it's what's up, man? You know, there's a deep it? connection awesome. between you and him mm -hmm. and and his son, and I mean, it's just there's a deep connection that you know I I knew that uh, I would feel uneasy having knowing that we were in a beef you know what i yeah. mean so i kind of felt that between you guys and i'm glad you uh reached out and and, and, and you know it's really, the, it really the funny thing about it is that it really had nothing to do with with the band but it kind of went there and it, it shouldn't even went there to be honest with you well you know we do shit yeah. in our lives and you know sometimes we look back <clears throat> in 2020 uh, hindsight or what is it called what do they say hindsight is 2020 well, yeah, hindsight is 2020 <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah. at least you come up to the realization because there's many people that take it to the fucking yeah. grave. No, dude. man. You know you know, what I mean? And the thing is, like, it, 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 it made me feel, now it makes me feel more like uh, whenever I think, because, you know, I was, I, I guess, where my headspace was in those years, I didn't even want to say the name. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And but now it, I, I look back at it and it's like, man, you know what? That was a, that was a great chapter 
of my life. Excellent. A, a great uh, that that was something that I I, I joined and I helped create what yeah. it is and and mm -hmm. how it sounds. And when I hear the music on the radio, I'm fucking proud. Yeah. You know what I'm and and on to the next. You know what yeah, I mean? Like like yeah. it, it's it, no 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 nothing bad. It's all good. All love. All positivity. Now we're looking this way. The Undertaker said, "Never say never." That's true. He at did. his freaking well, we talked about Hall that, of Fame, like, like the in, Hall of Fame yeah. at the end. I'm like, oh yeah. shit, he's coming back yeah. one day at least. You know. So if yeah. the Undertaker says it. So yeah, yeah. and then those are words that you gotta yeah. remember all the time. No, you know what? You know I'll what I mean? tell you one thing that that that's reality, bro. Because you you never know, you know what I mean. I mean, if I, you just never know, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. And we even said like, and then all it takes so, is for one of them to swallow, the, or the guy with the the the, 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 beef. the anger to swallow that pride and say, you know what, fuck it, you know what I mean. And it's tough for us, especially Hispanics. You know, we have a hard time swallowing our pride. Because if know, you go first, that means that you're kind of you're the weaker, right? Yeah. I'm going to give in. Like no. you, you gave in. It's no. actually being mm -hmm. the bigger man, dude. And yeah. I'm glad you did that. And I'm, yeah, no, I was good, man. I appreciate it's, it's good. you doing shout that. Out, shout out if he's watching or whatever, yeah. man. Uh, he was here Thursday, last Thursday night. Mm -hmm. We had an amazing show, and fucking YouTube took it down. Really? Yeah, I, I, I'm still trying to figure out why they didn't send me an email. I don't know. You know, usually they'll send me an email. Uh, I didn't play any music that I've never played before except Bronco, and I thought it was probably Bronco, and I didn't edit that. And then I thought it was a video clip at the very beginning of the show of him and Chris and that music video they yeah. did with uh, uh, the girl's name is uh, Perla Montemayor. She used to work with us as a yeah. weather girl. Mm -hmm. So I, I edit that part out, but it's still they still didn't re oh, wow. reinstitute the, uh, the video. So what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is the last week of April, I am going to upload an episode of the entire video because we're at like two hours here right with turner yeah, about two hours and we're gonna upload every day we're gonna upload because the last week of the of the month we're gonna take off and we're gonna treat you all to the jesse turner interview that man nobody's been able to see but i've been putting up clips on my tiktok so if you're not on my tiktok you need to get on it as soon as possible it's at rock and roll james 2022 and uh follow me there and i'm i'm working on one right now right babe yes yes you should where he calls lucky yes. joe out mm -hmm. and uh and it's really funny <laughs> so I'm, I'm getting the clips together to put it all together so you can see exactly because lucky joe was here like the week before and he said something on the show and then turner was like you know called him out on it and they were all you know because you follow those guys on social media they're very entertaining as well. And so. I can't wait for the PVT episode when mm -hmm. we have Joey and Jesse. Well, that'd be amazing. Like the I? mega powers, Hogan, <laughs> like yeah. Hogan and Randy Savage. Yeah, dude. Right, they go yeah. like this. Yeah. And then there's like, Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then the foundations of this <laughs> implode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we'll we'll come out as a natural disasters on the side. Oh we'll God. jump them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the matter, Joey? Pink. 